Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you something super exciting. We are going to feed the butterflies. <laughs> there are three different ways to do this. And I know you can't see super close up from here. So I also took pictures and videos that I'm going to show you after I talk you through how to do it. So the first way, and I'm going to slide the butterflies over a little bit. You take a third cup of water. Okay, I'm going to pour that. And then you're going to take three spoonfuls of sugar. They love sugar. This is kind of like in nature when they drink the nectar from flowers. It's very sweet. So for now, while they're still here getting stronger before we release them, I'm going to give them sugar water. Ready? One. two, three. And then you stir it up until it's dissolved. See, it's not really clear anymore. Now, there are two ways that I can give them the sugar water. The first is with a dropper. So I'm going to soak up the sugar water. Now in there is a sponge. I'm going to drop the sugar water onto the sponge. You can see one of the butterflies is getting excited over that. <laughs> okay, the second way to get them their sugar water is to take a towel, a tissue or a cotton ball. I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to dip it. Actually, you know what? We need to stir this a little more. Okay, now I'm going to dip it in our sugar water. Let it soak it all up. And then, being very careful not to drop it onto any butterflies, you drop it into the habitat. Now, I knocked over the lid where the caterpillars were, but that's okay, because the caterpillars aren't there anymore. All that's left is the shell or the skin of their cocoon. So now the butterflies have two different ways to eat. They have sugar water on the sponge, and they have sugar water on a towel. There's one more thing butterflies like. Fruit. <laughs> You can give them oranges, watermelon, banana. So I'm also going to drop a piece of a banana in there. And we'll see what they like best. Now, that's a lot of sugar. It's a sticky, icky mess. <laughs> That's why I have them on a towel. And I'm going to probably feed them one more time tomorrow. And the day after that, they're going to be strong enough that they could fly on their own and we can set them free in the wild. Let me show you some of the things that I've seen with them today. Here we can see one of the butterflies is right on the edge of the sponge, ready to drink some of the sugar water. In this picture, you could see the second butterfly is coming in to check out what the first one's doing. 
we get a better view of those beautiful colors in this picture. Wow, look at the colors you can see in this one. This butterfly landed on the towel that's soaked in sugar water, and that's how this one is choosing to eat. Speaking of colors, wow, look at this close up. You can see that the inside of the body is more brown, so they can camouflage and hide out in nature. But you can also see some of the beautiful colors and details when they open their wings. And here we see, get to see them flying around a little bit. They're trying to decide what to eat. Maybe they're not so great at sharing. We'll find out. Here we see three different butterflies all checking out the towel that's soaked in the sugar water. I think this might be the favorite way for them to eat. Let's look at those beautiful colors on our butterflies one more time. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see what the next few days are gonna bring.